Hey there guys, how are you all doing? This is your Vbro from Tech Week team and so today in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Phoenix OS ROG V3 Update 5. So this is the latest version of Phoenix OS ROG that we have in the month of um, September. It was out in the month of August if I'm not mistaken. So I was pretty much kind of late in making this video. I was just busy with some of my exams and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so as we can see here, we are in the Phoenix OS ROG V3 um, update 5. So it comes with the same wallpaper, which is just really great and of high quality. And also with, before starting with the other kind of changes that we are seeing um, with the overall operating system, let's take a look at the about tablet that we have inside the settings. So you can see there are icons are really colorful and go to about tablet. And you can see there the Phoenix OS version is Phoenix OS V3 update 5. Android version is same. Security patches, just ignore it. Um, kernel version is 4. Point, um, the same one, 13. And it comes with Mesa 18.3. Uh, there is also the 17 version as well, but I'm using the 18 one. You can also get a tethering uh, option here, which is really great for the people who uh, who are facing difficulty in using Wi-Fi connectivity. So um, let's take a look at the detailed change logs that we have over into this version of OS. And so let me open up the change logs that was just sent to me by the official peeps. So you can see that the base um, port is done through the Android X86. Um, added custom ARM translator, which is um, really great. And also comes with the ROG screen cam support, screen recorder with internal audio, which is, uh, I'll get to it in just a moment. Also there, the L-Speed application is deleted because the NFS RO, POS ROG is better. Comes with latest G apps, multiple kernels, some NIT.sh functions have been added. And you can see that the several changes in icons, shortcut, there is also added a live CDI. So add a lightweight mod, file manager, launcher with small size and custom Mesa, which also has some HW composer, which is bad, good for like applications. And also they need um, feedback. So if you're just trying it out, do let them know. And also they say that if you're just installing, you must do a clean install and use the X e EXT4 partition. So yeah, and these are the credits that are goes to all the awesome people that are developers and stuff like that. And also the respect uh, project mods, Abstergo OS and stuff like that. So that's pretty great. And uh, let's take a look at some some of the things that have been changed. The icons in here are different. You can see the home button, multitasking and the back buttons are looking beautiful. The settings icon is also really beautiful. And then also the start button or the button is just really great. There is an icon out there. So the apps comes with the file manager, the octopus game helper, comes with the settings with awesome icon, comes with security app, FX file explorer and GL tool, RG screen cam, which I'll be just getting into just in a moment. So this is the FX file explorer, uh, magic manager, play store and the ADV screen recorder, which I am using because the ROG screen cam that I was talking about, the internal sound recording is just not working for my device. So I just don't know what's wrong with my device. I guess it's not just um, supported with my device. I tried uh, playing with all the settings and stuff like that, but it was just, it wasn't working. I tried changing the resolution and yeah, with the frame rate as well. Now you might say that I am using the ADV screen recorder and that's why I'm facing this issue. But no, I just tried it before. It, it didn't work out. And that's why I was bound to go and use the ADV screen recorder, which is just great. You can see it's just recording in 60 FPS and just pretty great. But it's just drawback is that it just doesn't record the internal sound. So that's pretty bad. 
And but talking about this, I don't know why isn't working. If the developers, if you are just watching this video, do let me know what my problem is. Why am I facing this problem? If you got any solution, please let me know. I will be happy to share it with all the users because people want internal sound recording for recording their gameplay and stuff like that. So and other feature, other more um, options as well. So that's the main reason why I was not using the rg screen cam it's just not working the internal sounds i tried with everything and it's just not working and so yeah if you guys are just watching please let me know and also you can see there are really less number of applications that comes pre-installed so it's pretty great for the people who are having less amount of ram so that's pretty much it guys i won't show any gameplay because most of the games just runs pretty well that would be all guys this is a smart short video about giving you the review so if you got any queries you know how to reach me download links and all the important important information will be there in the description so you can go ahead and check it out that's pretty much it guys have a great day god bless you all and thank you and yeah just take care and be happy bye